Uh, let's see, I was born in Minneapolis and uh, grew up in the Twin Cities and uh, moved out here in 1958. I did uh, several kid shows back uh, in Minneapolis. One of them was uh, uh, Joe the Cook. Another one was uh, Chuck Wagon Chuck. Another one was Captain Eleven. Another one was J.P. Patches. And uh, one of the people I worked with back there uh, came out when Channel 7 went on the air and called me and invited me to come out and do uh, J.P. Patches and another character that I originated out here that was on for about uh, <clears throat> oh, five or six months. It was called uh, Mystic Mountain. I played uh, a German professor who lived uh, on top of Mystic Mountain. I had all kinds of uh, uh, space vehicles. and I, It was a program that was kind of ahead of its time. But JP became so popular, uh, I started doing uh, JP in the morning and the afternoon, replacing Mystic Mountain. And it was the very first live show that Channel 7 did. And uh, we had a person whose name was Dick Hawkins, who uh, was Mr. Slick. And Mr. Slick was a person who sold me my house, the little shack down by the city dump. And that was the very first uh, show. I remember it quite vividly. It surprised me the very first time I had an appearance, how many uh, children and mothers and fathers showed up. And that was kind of an indication that the show was very popular. Uh, uh, I met, no, wait a minute. How, let's see, one day, no, wait. Uh, it was in the evening. I was, gosh, I wish Gertrude were here. <coughs> Excuse me, start talking about Gertrude, I get all choked up. Golly, I wish Gertrude were here to answer that question. How did I meet Gertrude? <laughs> how did you meet Gertrude? Let yeah, me tell how you how I met Gertrude. You? <laughs> Cut it out. Oh, that, there you are. Yeah, as a matter of fact. Wait a minute. What? I do this oh, I when you walked in, <laughs> and I do that. Oh, See, yeah. you surprise me. Okay. I, I didn't I'll surprise do it again. you. Let's Wait. do it over again. Yeah. Okay. All right, let's see. How did I meet Gertrude? Now you're supposed to walk in okay, good. and no, sit down, sit. Yeah, good. and then they'll cut away, yeah. and then you say, hi, Julius, or hi, something. Hi, Julius, how are you, hi, or something? I'm fine, I'm just trying to remember. How'd you get here? Well, how did I get see, here? See, now, isn't that much better? It's a lot, I like it. It's see, that's easier. why you were the sidekick. Yes, that's it. Yeah, see? You Notice couldn't it all remember the bit. And I'm, I couldn't remember okay, the bit, you're yeah. right. Now, what was the question? Oh, how did I meet you? Uh, well, you see, uh, you know, I had uh, three of a kind, and you had, uh, you were just, oh, no. Uh, no. Uh, actually, uh, what would have happened was I had just gotten out of college and, uh, in 1960. You went to college? I went to college, yes, I did. Surprising. That's well, not so difficult at all. I went to college, and I finally got out and went to work at Channel 7, and uh, there were, the J.P. Patches show was going on in the air. Your he, voice is... Uh, pardon me? Oh, okay. I don't think anything wrong at all. <laughs> well, you got those funny ears on. Oh, yeah. Listen to me. I was, uh, I was going on, I was walking across the studio, and he was calling Gertrude on the telephone. But you know, there was no Gertrude. There was no Gertrude. Well, Gertrude's here. There was only a telephone, a wooden telephone. Well, there was a Gertrude, but I had never met Gertrude. Well, that's the Gertrude thing. Gertrude was see. a voice on the phone. Yes, and he'd say... Where no one would hear, uh -uh, except it was, me. It was a one-sided telephone. Yes. I'm telling the story. Oh, okay. Do you mind? I said, it was a one-sided telephone call, and he'd say, Gertrude, send me down a ham sandwich. Wait, I said, Gertrude, uh, <clears throat> send me down the ham sandwich. I said that. Good. Yes. And then some potato chips. Yes, and some potato chips. Yes, and two pounds of hostress. Okay, and then Gertrude said... <laughs> I said, all right, dear, I'll send it right down. Yes. So, and that was the kind of a thing. I was, well, that, well, obviously, it was behind the camera, and everyone sort of, hey. Your look. voice. Yes, it was. And so then I decided that, that we decided, hey, why don't we kind of try something on this? And mm -hmm. uh, I wore a, a Raggedy Ann costume, and uh, I came in as the telephone and, operator, and uh, from time and to time. And then it's history. Yeah, all history yeah. behind that. All downhill, or it was just great. Okay. So we oh, had a good time. Boy, that was, we did? Yes, we did. I did. We did. We did. had a good time. We did. The Great Zucchini was a success! The Great Zucchini was a it, success, all right! It, the Great Zucchini is gonna wind up flat on his back once yeah. I start okay, in! Well, now, now, wait! I mean, you wanted to get in the circus, he shot you out of the cannon! Shot me but out you, of a cannon, Well, Julius. you wanted to be a big flash, you wanted to be a big smash! Well, yes, I know all of that, I know all of that! But, Julius, after all, here I am, Miss City's dumb, and I've just been, I've just been degraded! There we go. Hey! Oh. How does that oh. look? How does it look, old? Oh, I'm going to look so young. <laughs> it's a motor. <laughs> <laughs> ah. It's
it's chilly. Yes, I know. Yeah. In, in your case, I need a lot of elixir. Oh. Yes. But there will be some a partial clearing in some areas, Jake. Evidently not down there where you are. The rain chance is 80% today and dropping only to 60 tonight and tomorrow, so I'm afraid we're going to have gloomy-looking skies and a bit of the wet stuff. <laughs> what happened? They outthought me. I see. <laughs> you really don't understand. I mean, we grew up in television when there was a thing called the FCC. I grew out. Yeah, I'm back a little too, as, <laughs> as I'm trying to remember. <laughs> and anyway, there was a thing called the FCC, you know, Federal Communications Commission, when it really meant something. And there was a th there was three things you have to think of: the public's interest, necessity, and convenience. You see, and we're we were bound by that. I mean, we realized that there was an audience out there. We didn't know how many. Easy seven or eight with the family thrown in. See. But the point is, we realized we had an obligation to children to get out there to, you know, to offer a little entertainment. In other words, when I was a jerk and bad and whatever... You were? Yes, odd. Well, once. you weren't. I mean, Boris S. Wart was well, bad. that's right, but the person was always... Wait a minute. Bo Wait a minute. Gertrude can imitate Boris S. Wart. Really? I mean, Did you, you find are that out? great at imitating. Yes. Would you imitate Boris S. Sure Wart for everyone out there? Okay. okay, hold on for a minute. Hello there, this is Boris S. Ward, the Boy. second meanest man in the world. <laughs> Boy, I close my eyes, close. I can see Boris S. Ward. Right there, good. What happened to Margo? <laughs> assistant. <laughs> no, wait Margo a was his assistant. No, 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 no. Is this Flinto the knife thrower? Flinto the knife thrower, you see. Oh. This new assistant is, uh, is ill in the hospital. Mm -hmm. She's <laughs> called Lefty. Yeah. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to be Flinto's assistant when oh, you're throwing be, knives at me. You'd like it. It would be just right down your line. Wait a minute. I, I want to show everybody how versatile you are. Go ahead. Do, um... Uh, catch a can, uh, the animal man. Can handle the French to pay, pop it up the tree, and a rope to fit the fat and kick. There we go. Okay, we stop the music. We Listen, certainly did. <laughs> hey, you've got a new hat. Yes, it's a new hat. It's my summer baker. Well, that's very good. Yeah, now, right. I don't know what that means. But... Well, that means it's my uniform for the summertime. Very good. Just like that, you was good. Would you like to do uh, sturdily the bookworm? <sighs> Let's see, JP. <laughs> I know what, uh, I'm kind of hungry. Would you give me some paper? I'd Beautiful like a nice sturdy. breakfast. What you need is to get up bright and early every morning, see? Uh -huh. And then go on out and deliver newspapers. So, and I'm sure you would help me. Oh, sure. I'd yeah. be your best folder Certainly wrapper Certainly stop upper. thinking of yourself. I know what you're up to. You're trying to eat all that paper. The phone books and the newspapers and the library books. You're not helping me at all. I'll have to do it on my own. You can imitate... Um, uh, Leroy Frump. Uh, Leroy Frump was a very fine fella. He always used to bring in a ladder and come up out of the hole in the floor. All right, I hold this here. You right? hold it that way. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good, too. <laughs> Over that way. What are you doing when you're doing this, Leroy? I'm stocking the flies away. I got to put the flies around here. Oh, oh, put the bugs in Never mind. Look, Esmeralda has to go to school. Okay, just put her on the bus, okay? 